What is going on you guys in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to improve the internet connection on your Xbox One. It's actually really simple. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple ways how you guys can do this method. So the very first thing we have to go to is the settings and it will involve the DNS settings as well. Once you guys are here at the settings you guys want to go to general, go down to network settings and then go, up, go to advanced settings. So like I said, the first step will involve the DNS settings. And as you guys can see in the video right now, my DNS is uh, automatic. So it's basically a random DNS the Xbox gives you. So what we want to do is go ahead and change that DNS settings to a custom one. So in order for you guys to do that, you guys want to go down to network and then go down to DNS settings. Go ahead and click on manual and type in the DNS. I'm going to be showing you guys on the screen right now. Now, once you guys got that copied down, go ahead and go to the secondary DNS setting and copy what I'm doing in the screen right now. Now, as you guys can see right there, you guys got a custom DNS setting. So what this will do is it'll also improve your internet connection by a lot. It'll give you greater results than you had before, like latency would go down and your Mbps would go up. So let's say you guys play a couple games on your Xbox and obviously you guys want a better connection so you guys don't lag. So this setting will actually help you guys a lot and improve that problem you guys been having before. So what I'm doing on screen right now is just testing out my connection and showing you guys what results I get. Obviously everybody's connection would be different. Not everybody would get the same speed as others but you guys will actually see a better result than you guys had before. So as you guys can see right here, the results I get on screen are really great, which are almost 300 Mbps and upload speed is 18. And then my latency is 15 ms, which is really good for gaming. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to always have an open DNS. If you guys always have a closed DNS or a moderate DNS, this will actually help you guys get an open DNS every single time you turn on your console. So what you guys want to go ahead and do for this step is go down to advanced settings, go to alternate port selection, and you guys want to go ahead and click manual. So for the purpose of this video, I click automatic to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so now I would actually choose the manual option what you guys will see here is a drop down menu full of manual port selections. You guys want to go ahead and go all the way down and choose from the three at the very end. So what I did here is go all the way down and choose the very last one. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because they're all the same. Oh, Now once you guys chose yours, go ahead and click continue and you guys can go all the way back and back out. You guys don't have to do this step that I'm doing on screen right now which is I'm just going to go ahead and test my NAT type so you guys can see it's open. And also the other reason why I let the whole video run without any cuts so you guys don't think I'm cutting out the video and putting out different things. I'm trying to give you guys the most legit content on YouTube. As you guys can see my NAT tab is open, you guys can go ahead and back out from now. Now the very last step I'm going to show you guys how to do is this step will actually improve you guys uh, connection and it will actually give you guys better, better performance during games. So what I mean by that is sometimes you might be playing a game and then you get a frame drop so this will actually solve that issue for you. What you guys want to do at this point, go ahead and back out all the way back to the general settings. Go down to device and streaming. What you guys want to do right here is go ahead and click on Blu-ray. 
what you guys want to do once you're in here go ahead and go down to persistent storage and you guys will see an option to clear it what you guys want to do is go ahead and clear that five times once you guys are done with that step go ahead and back out to the dashboard now once you guys want to do again is go ahead and open your settings one more time go ahead and click network settings click advanced settings and go ahead and go down to alternate mac address now once you're in there what you want to do is go ahead and clear that if this video helped you guys out in any way make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel because i would really appreciate that other than that thanks for watching and have a wonderful day